I am so excited today because I have ordered a Tenco S5 Pro. It's a vacuum and mop all in one. And I am hoping it saves me so much time on cleaning. Um, we have a larger house and it's all hardwood floors and tile. And we just redid our basement. You can watch some of those videos of my husband doing all of his work with all that. Um, but we just put in all hardwoods downstairs as well. So now I've got double the work. So in doing some research on ways to make it faster, um, currently I'm just using a dust mop and I'm going around everything. And then I'm using what's called the Cuban style mopping where it's a squeegee and you get the wet cloth underneath of it and run it around. My rags and my cleaner. And I am using the Cuban style of uh, mopping. So I put the rag, rinse it out. And I usually take them and I just start flinging them. And we'll fling one over there. I'll fling one down there. So I put the rag out here. I lay it out. Put my squeegee on it. Okay. And then I just go through all the way through here for a little while. And then I have to go squeegee them out and get new. It takes me about an hour just to do the upstairs. So when I add in the downstairs, it'll be two hours of work. So I'm hoping to at least cut that in half with the Tenco. Um, I asked around, looked on Facebook, of course, because Facebook has everything you know. And I am part of the Peloton Moms group. Everybody raves about the Tenco. They say how great it is, it's amazing. If you're gonna get anything, look at the Tenco. Uh, the Bissell did not get the great reviews, so I kind of just stuck with Tenco. Uh, I checked in with my sister who also owns one and she loves it as well. So with all that positive review, I figured I need to try it too. Um, so I've ordered it. I am expecting that it's going to help clean up some of the stains that our kids leave on the floors, the mess. You know that fun when you're walking around and you step on something and it's just sticky because you have kids. I'm hoping it helps clean all that up and does it really fast and efficiently. Um, I ended up getting the Pro because it has the suction only feature and it is supposed to clean up, you know, kids spilled water or soda or whatever on the floor. It's supposed to just put it on the suction and it cleans it all up. Kind of like a wet dry vac, but much prettier. And you can go through and clean up your house, make it all great. And I'm really excited to try it out. I am super excited about this Tinco. My sister told me she got one of the S3s and absolutely loved it. And I was going online to order one and I saw that they just released the S5 Pro. So in looking at it, I decided I had to have it because this one has the edge cleaning. Uh, the S3, when the comparison, it said they have about a three inch gap between the edge cleaning to where you'd still have to kind of go back through. Um, this one had that, and it also has the vacuum part of it, where if kids spill water or whatever happens around here, we've got three kids, so we have a lot of problems. Um, but this can just get out and just suck it up, clean up the problem real easy. So I am going to unbox it and show you how it's all set up, and then we'll get a chart so we can see how it goes. The shipping on this was very fast. Uh, I just ordered it earlier this week and it is already here. Um, so it was about four days of shipping. So that was very surprising. Let's see here. Okay, so they've put a little quick step guide at the top here for you. Uh, looks like we're gonna connect in the top, fill up the water, click it in, and it's got your power button and your charging case. Uh, they give you some cleaning solution that you put in here. What I saw online is you do one cap full for each cleaning. We've got our charging cord. Looks like a little holder. A filter. Roller brush. Uh, I got the roller brush here. It goes underneath. Here is the handle. Looks like a little cleaning wand. Okay, so we've got the rest out of the box here. Here is our base. And the machine here. So pretty and clean. It is a heavier thing, but for a vacuum and mop in one, it's pretty nice. Oh, it's another, it's the roller. So we have an extra roller. That's easy to get in and out for our water container. 
and the extra filter in here. Easy enough. Now we are going to assemble it. Uh, this is our handle. We're gonna put it in here. Uh, make note, this has got a little notch right here that's gotta slide in over here or else it's only gonna go one way. It also allows your controls up here next to your finger. So you put it in there until it snaps. There we go. So it takes a little bit of force to do that. All right, so we have our base here. Um, before we actually set it up, I'm gonna put these little attachments onto the side and they've got little grooves to where they each line up in their own spot. So you can kind of set them out and see where they're gonna line up to know which side they're gonna be on. See if you set that one up, it does not line up. So that's helpful. You just line it up and push it down in there and it goes right in. Same with this one, line it up, push it in. This side, you put your cleaning solution in there so you have it real handy every time you wanna go out and get your mop, you have your stuff right there. This one, you put your extra roller in there and your little cleaner. And that all goes in there together. And then we've got our charging cord here. In the back, we've got our little hole. We stick in our charging cord. And then this, of course, just goes into the wall. We'll get the vacuum mop here. And we set it on here. Charging has commenced. And it looks like we are ready to go. Okay, so now we've got it all set up to charge. Uh, it has this LED, LCD display screen. So right now it's at 40%. It says it's gonna take about four to five hours to charge up. So once we do that, we'll come back and we will start vacuuming and we will show you how it works to do the vacuum mop and clean it all up. I've got it all charged up and it is ready to go. Um, it took, like I said, four to five hours to charge up. Once you get going, you've got your power button here. This is your changing your mode. So on this one, we change it from suction to max to auto. And up here is your cleaning button. So whenever you first turn it on, your little LCD screen comes auto on. Mode. It automatically goes into auto mode. The very first time, it actually goes through and tells you what all of the buttons are, where your dirty tank is, your clean tank, and everything. So that part was fantastic. It does have an app that goes with it that wants you to come back in this clean tank and scan this little barcode and connect to your internet. We had trouble with doing that. It was not working. We tried several different ways to do it, whether it was a 5G or 2.4, um, but we couldn't get it. So we just kind of bypassed that and we'll uh, hope it works out just fine. Um, but in the idea of cleaning it, we will get started uh, the way you do it. Undo your clean tank back here. Pop this little guy down. And then we've got our cleaning solution. I'm gonna put that in first, just so it's a little bit easier to not have the water all the way up. It just says to put in one cap full. So we put that in there. So I've got my water already heated up. And we are just gonna add it up to that line. Put that back in here. Put it in here and it will click and you know it's in there right. So click, we are good. To get it down, you just hold your foot on this and lean it back. And it looks like it's just taken off. I am not moving it at all. And it is going awfully fast too. Uh, the kids sit here at the bar and they paint. So it looks like an auto mode is not gonna pick that up. So let's try to change it over to max. Let's see if that picks up the cupcake. There we go. Now when you run it on max mode, you don't want to do that the whole time unless you've just got a lot of problems. Because the battery life is only for 35 minutes on regular. And I believe it drops down to 27 uh, once you change it down to the maximum. But this is pretty lightweight and it's moving for you, so you don't really have to do much besides just hold it up.
test this on the suction mode. We're just gonna put some water on the floor because it happens all the time. Okay, there you go. The kids came in the room and they made a mess. So we're gonna put it on the suction mode. So there's Max, push it again for suction. So that turns off the water from coming in. It's just sucking up the water. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty fantastic. I cleaned it right up. That'll make sure it work and save a lot of towels. It is an easy enough machine that even a child can do it. Um, she just can pick up and do this with her chores now, and that'll really help out around the house, too. How is it, Kelsey? Is it easy enough? Yeah. Picking up a lot of dirty mess around here because we were just in construction mode. So I'm going to put it on the max and try to get it to set up, get all the junk off the floor there. I can do that, Mama. So I've got the notification that told me self-cleaning mode. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put it back Charging on the base. Commenced. Auto detecting whether to run self-cleaning cycle. Please begin self-cleaning cycle. Okay, so I'm going to push my button. Start self-cleaning. brush loaded. Clean water tank empty. Please refill water and cleaning solution. So now it told us refill the water cleaning solution. So it's out of water. So I'm going to start with my dirty water and then I'll get to my clean. So I'm going to unhook this right here in the front. It's got a little lever you just push down and it releases this little thing. So I'm going to pull that out. And then on the top here, you've got the little filter. I'm going to run that under the water and I'm going to dump this out and we will start over fresh. Jeez. There we go. Okay, you push down on this, it actually lifts that up so you can pull out all this stuff. So all the hair and trash. It would probably be a better idea to empty it into a toilet or throw it outside so that way you don't have all the mess in your sink. Um, but we live and learn. So now I'm gonna rinse it out and we'll get it dried up. Um, it does say not to put it back in there while it's dirty or while it's wet. The next step is to come down here and clean out your roller blades. So we're gonna pinch these two things together and this little cap comes off. I'll go and rinse all of that off in the water. Here's my roller blade. You just slide it off and that takes that out. You've got all this stuff. This can come in here and you can clean all these things out if you've got hair, you can get out in here. And you just get all the extra little scuzz out of there so it'll do a better job next time. After you clean this out, they do not want it to be wet when you come back, so they've given you an extra one. So you get your little extra one out, and you place it in there. It's got a little snap. Slides in. Once you have this clean, you stick that back on, and it snaps into place once you get it on there right. And there you go, and you're ready to start back over. So I found a downfall of this. Um, one is the way that this roller is set up, if you roll it on this side, that's not gonna clean. It's only gonna go up to the edge on this right-hand side of it. So that's one thing. Also, when you run up and you have a corner of something, you can't quite get to this. So this over here is still very dirty, but I can't get to it with the mop because my mop can't go in that direction. Uh, also, I notice upstairs, if you've got cabinets that are recessed in like this and the floor is high enough, this is too big to fit under there. Uh, down here, it looks like it's gonna fit. Oh, push the button. Uh, this fits under here because the floor is a little bit lower, I guess. But upstairs, I'll still have to go through and clean underneath the cabinets. But other than that, I think this thing is working fantastic. Um, it does have a little bit of weight to it. So if you have a lot of work to do, you may get fatigued a little bit in your shoulders and arms. Um, 
But overall, I really like it, and I'm excited to see how long it actually takes me to do the house. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.